right? So I got the battery pack. Got eight of them now. Eight packs instead of 14, which I had earlier. Okay, I discovered. First of all, I discovered that these packs were not good. The ones that I got for a low price on eBay, they're not very good at all. The ones I got at Big Lots were better. The ones I got at Big Lots are the, uh, the blue batteries right there. There's four right there. Those are the kind of batteries I found to be better than those. The BTY batteries are no good. And also, I gave it some extra time to charge even after the green light had been shown. Uh, because the green light shows when the capacity is 80% complete. And I figure, well, if I leave it there longer, the capacity will go up to 100%. And the, th the problem that I had earlier was the voltage. After like maybe one or two hours, the voltage will go down very quick. And so I found out that hey, if I, I actually increased the capacity, the voltage actually is less now. But this fan is just as good as I had it earlier. I mean, increase the capacity by 20% of that 100% that it can have uh, because the green light means 80% and you know, top it off means 100%. So here's the uh, commutator right here. It actually doesn't look that fast compared to the other video but keep in mind this is uh, using 80 volts instead of the 140 I had earlier and the wind is actually just as good and I didn't have to change these wires over here or anything or improve them I was actually kind of surprised that it worked and Let's see if I can demonstrate the wind a little bit uh, besides sound So, I have this over here. See, the wind is actually pretty good. It's actually better than I had it last time. See how it lifts up the, this one. Actually, a little bit better than I had last time. A lot better. Now, as far as the current I'm using, you can look at this. This is not milliamps. These are amps. They had a decimal point here, often followed by a zero. Um, okay, sometimes it goes up to point one. It goes as was point oh one. So on average, it's about point oh five or point oh six amps that I'm using here. So a twentieth of an amp is about what I'm using to run this fan motor at 80 volts. So you take 5% of 80 volts, what do you get? You get 4 watts. This, this motor is running on 4 watts. Okay, we're going to take this out. We're going to see this running until it stops. Now we're going to move this port over here, this plug over here, close this, move it to the voltage, we're going to close this, make it visible, so as you can see we're using 83.7 volts, 83.7, don't point on it. So that's about how much voltage we are using. Now before we move it back, we send it back to this setting. Then we can put it here. So now it's running again. There we go. Takes a while to speed up.
YouTube butter this time for some reason. Then it just a few seconds ago. This is running faster than I had it earlier. Okay, we're gonna run this again. See how good the wind is. Okay, now it's blowing it over this way. We wanna hold it that way. It's trying to blow it. I guess in the upside down way. Now I can hold it this way too. And it's wanting to go to the side. So you can see here, got a lift. It's actually kind of, you know, el it's, el it's elbowing because much of this is horizontal. And then it just falls off like that. Still good. Because there's a probably because there's a bend right here. But here's the wind. You can hear it. It's a lot, it's a considerable wind. Blowing gently because this fan has a weight on it. It has weight. Unlike my the one I had is made of index cards. And so it's a rather smooth uh, wind, not a pulse wind. So there it is. Less voltage, same current, but better charge, better, better, better charging of the batteries. That just runs a lot better. Thank you very much.